Hey guys, Jay here. Today I'm going to do a video on how to install a rod holder on a spot or in a spot on your boat that you have no access to to get to the underside to, you know, put in a nut or a bolt. And you don't want to do well nuts because you don't want to make a bigger hole than you need to. So I'm doing that. I'm going to attach a Scotty's base and I'm going to use rivets. These are 3 16th uh, rivets and it's the tri-grip. So when the rivet is, when the riveting tool pulls the rivet up through, um, It'll give it three anchor points underneath, so it'll be a pretty solid fit. And this is the way to do it if you cannot get access to uh, the underside. Um, my other rod holders I put in, I basically did pilot holes, I put a bolt in, and then I secured it with a nut on the underside. But I have no access on the gun, gun wall or gun whale where I'm doing it. So, um, yeah, let's get at it. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the rivet in just to help keep my spots in place. There we go. Alright, next one. go it's looking good happy with that So, as you, I've got all four holes drilled now. As you can see, I, I got lots of bits of metal in here that came out because it's an aluminum boat. So what I'm going to do is, uh, so I've already found a couple of the holes. I'm just going to pop it up and remove all those metal shavings that are underneath. Just because I don't want them in the boat or worse, going in the water when I'm fishing. It wouldn't be good for the environment. So. Pick off what I can, and I'll sweep off the rest, and then I'll just vacuum it later. Okay. The nice thing too, I don't know if you can see that. If I ever decide to remove this, this, look at that. Can you even see the holes there? That's one right, right there. That's a hole. Very hard to tell in the carpeting. That's the other reason why I don't want to put any goop or anything on here. I mean, it's a boat that's going to get wet, and I do have a bilge pump. So, yeah. All right, so now to find the holes, get it all lined back up. There we go. There's one, two. I'm just going to put them all in just so I, I'm marked off. There we go. 
he was being a little stubborn. That's good, that means I'm gonna get a nice tight fit. There we go. The rivets are in. The rod holder's the way I want it. So now I'm gonna take the gun, or the riveting tool, sorry, and I'm just gonna keep cranking until the rivet pops. That first one's in there, so that's good. There we go. Just didn't come out. I thought it didn't pop. Yeah, and that's already solid. Look at that, that's solid. So, like I say, I'm not gonna bother with the washers or gaskets. I'm just gonna, just cause the way it fits in the, the rod holder here. So, it, it's through, it just didn't cut through. So the biggest thing that I've seen some guys do is they'll, you gotta let it pop, you don't snap it, you let it pop. If you snap it like this, you could wear out or really ruin the integrity of the uh, rivet. There we go. And that is solid. Oh yeah. I'm quite happy with that. This guys is a really quick solution. If you see this, I'm not sure how the focus is, but that's solid. All by using these little rivets. These are actually kayak rivets. Like I said, I'll put the link uh, below in the video. But these here, uh, these are perfect. I use them instead of a bolt and thread and this is awesome. I now have a rod holder at the front of the boat. So a quick and easy project, one more thing out of the way before the season starts. So if you guys are ever looking for a way to put a, a mount on to your boat and you can't get access at it, and you're not sure how else to do it, a rivet is the way to go. This here is a kayak rivet. You can see on my boat here, under the gun wall, I can't get my hand under there to secure a bolt and a nut. So. The solution was a kayak rivet. It was cheap, easy, very affordable, and quick. If you guys have any questions, please put them in the comments down below. Please like, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.